Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals and Chalkboard Art has uh, taken my heart right now. So uh, here's a piece I did. This one's actually done on a piece of glass inside of a frame. And let me show you a few more pieces. So these are done on wood board. So these are permanent. And then over here I have, this is done, I, I love to do my journals. A black journal is really a wonderful thing to, uh, an inspiring thing to create. So I've uh, glued some flower photos here and then doodled and written uh, phrases around those pieces. I just love phrases and wonderful sayings. So really concentrated on that in this little book. And here's some color work. These are all done with the Moonlighter. These are actually the metallic gel pens. Those are great. So a lot of times I like to add a border when I'm doing a journal. So I find the easiest way is just to use a little bit of uh, white paint, acrylic paint. Roll that out real good with my brayer. And then I like to put a stencil around the edge and I can just run my brayer right through that stencil. And that gives me a wonderful border. I can adjust the size. So then after I've done the borders, here are some more examples. So it just really sparks up a journal, I think. So I, uh, here's another little book, all with quotes. So I'm going to be showing you some different um, implements to do your drawing with to get thick and thin lines and different ways to do the lettering. A little doodling or zentangle around her head. Well, I, I'm just really hooked on these journals. So now let me uh, start here and I'll, I'll just turn this one around. So that, right, turn it back around here. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit of, here are a lot of the uh, lettering de demonstrations that we're going to learn how to do different lettering, borders, accents, more styles of lettering, and then doodles to show how much better it can look. So I'm just going to start here. This is a wonderful implement, drawing implement. This is actually a piece of soapstone. So it can either be used for actual drawing or if you do it real pale then you can use it like a pencil. You know sometimes it's hard to sketch something on a piece of black. And here's a Sharpie water-based paint pen. This is a wonderful tool for doing um, lettering in these journals. Here's another style lettering, a little dot lettering. We're going to have so much fun learning different styles of lettering. Here's a, just a regular jelly roll pen. We'll do our outline lettering. And then I like lettering that is um, pops up off the page. So on this side, I'm going to add some shading. So it really makes that lettering show up well. And of course you can use regular chalk. And I'll also show you how to make a sign where part of it stays the same and part of it you can change because it all depends on what tool you're using. So you know the chalkboard art is so much fun and anything black but the original chalkboard art was actually done on a piece of slate stone and they could draw on that with the chalk and then erase it they found out. Every school in my era had these in the on the wall for the teacher to work with. Now it seems to all be digital. So I hope you'll come and join, and join me. This is really a fun thing to do.